You'll often find Jehovah's Witnesses in city centres, outside train stations, places like that. And one of the things I often say to people is, go and talk to them, don't just avoid them. I want to tell you something that you can say to them that they'll not be ready for. So what I often do is I will go to the Jehovah's Witnesses and I will say to them, can I give you a hypothetical situation? And they will be a little bit suspicious, but generally they'll say, yes, go on then. So I say, I've just come out of a shop over there and someone has stabbed me in the back. And I've, I've literally got three minutes to live. And I don't believe in God. I've never thought about God until now, but I've seen you guys here and I think you guys seem to know something about God. So I better have a chat with you before I die. So I come over to you and I ask you this question. What must I do to be saved? So how would you answer that question? You'll often find that the Jehovah's Witnesses really, really struggle with that question because part of their salvation package is you've got to work to be saved. And so they'd want to say to you, well, you need to have a Bible study with us. You need to come to the Kingdom Hall. You need to do something. You don't have enough time. So often you find they get a little bit in a lather. And as they're struggling to answer that question, you could remind them then that now you've only got two minutes to live. And so they're beginning to panic a little bit. Now, there's a couple of things the Jehovah's Witnesses might say. If they're thinking about this properly, they might say, well, wait a minute, what about the thief on the cross? They won't say cross, they believe it's a torture stake, but you don't need to worry about that. What about the thief on the cross? What did he do to be saved? And they'll say, well, he just turned to Jesus and Jesus said, I'll remember you and, and you know, you'll be in paradise with me. So he couldn't do anything. He didn't have time to do anything. But Jehovah's Witnesses don't always get to that point. If they do, you can really push home the point of the fact that you can't do anything to be saved apart from throw yourself on the mercy of Jesus. Sometimes they may say something like, well, if you die, it's okay because you'll get a second chance, which of course is not biblical whatsoever. And then challenge them on that if they say so and ask them what kind of message they're giving to people. Are they saying to people, well, it doesn't really matter. Just live your life, die, you'll get a second chance. But usually what you find is they don't have an answer because you're putting pressure on them. So now there's only one minute left. Point out to them, look, I'm about to die. What's the answer to my question? When they don't give you an answer, you can say, well, what does the Bible say to my question? What must I do to be saved? Again, you'll find that the majority of Jehovah's Witness do not know what the Bible say about that. And so you can point them to, just as you're about to die, Acts 16 and verse 30, have them read it from their Bible. They've got their own Bible, but in this point it isn't changed. Let them read the Philippian jailer who asked Paul and Silas, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And then get them to read Paul's answer. What does Paul say? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved because that's all you need to do to be saved.